Svilat, Anathlon Amalhalla, Itham Laime Hennin, Imla Mairon, Anathon in Olthor, Lin Elam Thindrim, Thi Menatham and Ingeliad Nelui Wien. In today's lesson, we will discuss the present tense and negation in Neo Sindarin. All people of Middle Earth, elf and dwarf alike, live in the present. If you want to tell someone what you are doing now, or describe an ongoing habit of yours or general truth, then you must use the present tense. Listen to the following conversation between Ayarion and me, his friend, Lamairon. Lamairon, Melonenin, Kimair. I are. Ni Mair. Mankerik si vim ladris. Ma telling in Kenneth. Again? Mankerik. El voniel. A mankenik. Kenin foen. A haeu. Gwilir vi gaer helin via varan. Sabain egorvan. Hanu genim vi taur nu fuim. Mm. I. Ari. Han lerik. Pen mat. Eh, uh, 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 lerinunat, lerinuben. Han matho nenen, han matho nechai. Ah. Han nosto nervith. Ech mat. Nai, ni saip, med in kevurf. Ma, man kevurf. Kev urf, hae gwel, hae rak, hae sasta vi salv. Gwi kegin iston man kevurf. Ha ha henion, ma aniro kevorf. You can already see from the dialogue several verbs using the present tense. For example, kerik, you do, elvon, I admire, kenin, I see, and so on. Now, instead of going through every single verb in the dialogue right away, let's try to break this down. Perhaps you notice some patterns among the verbs. For example, kenin means I see, while kerik means you see. Lerin means I hear, while lerik means you hear. In these examples, we break the verbs into the following stems and suffixes. All Sindarin verbs follow a similar structure in the present tense a stem for the verb itself, and a suffix indicating its subject. There are, however, two types of verbs, the I-stem verbs and A-stem verbs. One way to distinguish these two types of verbs is to look at the infinitive form. I-stem verbs end in ed, and A-stem verbs end in ad. Let's start first with the I-stem verbs. I-stem verbs have the following suffixes in the present tense. In, il, ik, a lengthened stem vowel, im, igir, id, ir. It's important to note that if the stem vowel is a or o, then it will change to e when combined with suffixes containing i. Let's look at a few examples. Kenet, to see, kenin, kenik, kenil, Ken, kenim, kenigir, kenith, kenir. Karet, to do. Kerin, kerik, keril, kar, kerim, kerigir, kerith, kerir. Tolet, to come. Telin, telik, telil, tol, telim, teligir, telith, telir. Moving on, we have the A-stem verbs. These verbs have the following suffixes in the present tense. On, ok, ol, a, am, ogir, oth, ar. Unlike the I-stem verbs, the main vowels in A-stem verbs remain unchanged. Let's look at a few examples. Istat, to know. Iston, istok, istol, ista, istam, istogir, istoth, istar. Heniat, to understand. 
henion, heniok, heniol, henia, heniam, heniogir, henioth, heniar. Mathat, to feel. Mathon, mathok, mathol, matha, matham, mathogir, mathoth, mathar. Moving on to negation, the word u can be used to negate a simple sentence of x is y. For example, in sentences using adjectives like ni maer, I am good, becomes ni u maer, I am not good. Ki bain, you are beautiful, becomes ki u bain, you are not beautiful. Similarly, with sentences using nouns, ni edel, I am an elf, becomes ni u edel, I am not an elf. Ki adan, you are a man, becomes ki u adan, you are not a man. To negate a verb, you can attach u to the beginning of a verb as the prefix u. In many cases, this will cause the first consonant of the verb to change in a process called soft mutation. This will be discussed in detail in future episodes. Here are a few examples of negated verbs. U genin, u gerik, u dol, u geniam. Now, let's go through the dialogue one more time. I will mark each verb that appears in the dialogue in the present tense. Try to pay attention to the stem and suffix of each verb. La maeron melonenin. Ki maer? Ai ari. Ni maer. Man keriksi viim ladris. Mah telingin kened. Again, man kerik el voniel. A man kenik. Kenin foen a haeu. Gwilir vi gaer chelin wi a varan. Sabain e gorvan, hanu genim vi taur nu fuin. Ari, Hanlerik. Pen mat. Uh, 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 Lerinunat, Lerinuben. Han mazo nenen. Han mazo nechai. Ah. Han noso nervi. Ech ma nai ni saib me din kevurf. Ma man kevurf. Kev urf hai gwel, hai rak, hai sasta vi salv. Gwi kegid iston man kevurf. Ha ha henion, ma aniro kevorf. Your task for this lesson is the following. I will give you a list of verbs in their infinitive form. I want you to conjugate them using all of the appropriate suffixes covered in this lesson. Then, I want you to conjugate them a second time, this time negating every verb. The consonant change resulting from soft mutation will be provided in parentheses with each infinitive form. Go ahead and pause the video, grab a sheet of paper, and start conjugating. Anyways, that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Lin hannon antiriat, deitho anini mebetin lin, analue govened win, no vaer. Hey guys, I'm the creator of Malhala. I just want to leave a brief message here at the end of the video. 
I would first like to apologize to my subscribers for not posting videos for so long. Right after I originally started this channel, I moved to a different country, I started grad school, and a whole bunch of other crazy life stuff just has happened over the past few years. I am planning on posting more videos like this in the future, and I hope to form a regular upload schedule. Please bear in mind that making these videos, especially the Sindarin lessons, takes a lot of time and effort. Going forward, I also plan to share a lot more of my own personal works and projects, so please be sure to subscribe and like the video, as that really helps me out, and I also have a Patreon account now if you want to check that out. Thanks again for watching the video, and I hope you enjoy my content.